Hello everyone, my name is Yan and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making black pepper steak. This is one of those dishes my husband and I always get whenever we go to Taiwan and it's one of those dishes that we miss all the time. So finally one day I decided to make it myself and turns out it's actually really really easy to make. The best thing is because this dish is all about the black pepper sauce, you can get away with a cheaper cut of steak. Today I'm using New York strip but a very thin cut New York strip. Whenever you get black pepper steak in Taiwan, the steak you get is always very thin, so I'm keeping it traditional. However, you can use any kind of steak you like at any thickness you like. Now without any further ado, let's get into the recipe. First, let's make the black pepper sauce. We need one shallot or half an onion finely chopped. In a pan over medium heat, add in 2 tablespoons of butter. Once butter has melted, add in your finely chopped shallots or onion. Saute the shallots until translucent, then add in 2 tablespoons of finely minced garlic. In a few seconds when your garlic is fragrant, add in 1 8 cup of black pepper, stir to combine. Then add in the following ingredients 2 tablespoons of ketchup, 1 teaspoon sugar, 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, then finally 1 cup of beef stock. Make sure to stir to combine between each ingredient. Slowly bring the mixture to boil. Make sure to stir once in a while so nothing burns on the bottom. When the mixture is starting to come to a slow boil, add in one last tablespoon of butter. Stir until butter is melted. Once the sauce is on a full boil, add in your cornstarch slush, which is just 3 tablespoons of cornstarch dissolved in 3 tablespoons of water. Allow mixture to thicken over medium-low heat. Make sure you are stirring constantly to prevent any lumps from developing in the sauce. Once the sauce has thickened, take it off the flame and keep warm while we cook the steaks. In a cast iron skillet, you can also cook this over a grill or just a regular pan. Since the steaks I am using are super thin, it will only take a couple of minutes to cook. If you're using a thicker cut of steak, cook it however you normally like your steaks. I added some oil to the skillet, then waited for it to be smoking hot before adding the steaks. Since there is so much flavor in the black pepper sauce, I gently seasoned the steak with a little bit of salt and pepper. I prefer my steaks medium rare, but cook however long you prefer your steaks. To assemble. Traditionally, black pepper steaks are served on a sizzling plate with spaghetti and an over easy egg. So while the steaks were cooking, I placed two cast iron plates in the oven at 400 degrees to heat up. Then I added a touch of ghee to the super hot plate. You can also use oil or butter and crack an egg right on top. As you can see, the egg will cook very quickly. Then I added some spaghetti noodles I have been cooking. You can use whatever type of noodles you like or rice. Next comes the steak, which is nestled with the noodles and the egg. Lastly, the black pepper steak sauce goes on top.
guys, this sauce is so good. I can't wait to have you try. If you like this recipe, I would really appreciate it if you give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I hope you and your family are safe, happy, and healthy. See you next time. Bye!